All right, here comes a quick explanation of what you need to do. Um, you, this assignment is due on next week, Thursday, so today's the fourth, so whatever a week from today is. Uh, I can't do much math, I should have thought of that before now. Um, here is your reminder about what CER is. In CER, you have three parts to this paragraph. The C stands for a claim. A claim, you need to make a statement. It should not be an opinion, even if it is like your opinion, you're gonna state it like a fact. So you're not gonna use things like I think or I believe. In fact, you're not gonna use the word I at all. If I am writing a CER paragraph about what the best TV show in the entire world is, I'm not gonna say, I think The Office is great. I will say clearly, The Office is the best TV show of all time. So it states clearly like what I'm talking about. What's the question I'm answering? The question is, what's the best TV show of all time? So I say, the best TV show of all time is The Office. Even if it's only my opinion, which it's not, it's a fact, The Office is the best. I'm still gonna say it like a fact. That's the first thing, claim, statement. So your question is, you are going to answer what is one lesson that can be learned from the book Things Fall Apart. So you might just wanna start it by saying, one lesson that can be learned from Things Fall Apart is, boom. Make sure that you name what you're talking about. So if you're talking about a book, name the book. You're talking about a lesson, say the word lesson, etc. I just gave you some really helpful hints there. I hope that you picked up on those. Two, the E stands for evidence. So you need to have, like I said in the instructions, at least two quotes from the text. That means page numbers. You need to have page numbers. So you're not just going to say one thing that can be learned is that all people are both good and evil because Okonkwo is good and evil at the end. You're going to give me examples of Okonkwo being good and examples of Okonkwo being bad. I did put a link in the assignment um, so that you can look at... Uh, no, I just put examples of in-text citations. So that way you know how to use in-text citations, how to quote a book. So make sure you introduce it. Okonkwo says... Blah, blah, blah. Give me the page number. There are examples of that in your document, so check that out. So you need your evidence. Make sure that your evidence actually proves your claim. So don't just give me random quotes from the, sto from the story. Give me quotes that prove what you are trying to prove. Yeah, that prove what you're trying to prove. Okay, wow. Uh, and then the last thing is reasoning. This is the one that I'm going to be really, really focused on. Reasoning. In your reasoning, this is where you show explicitly how your evidence proves your claim. Evidence proves claim. Hopefully you can read this there. So you need to show me, oh, that glare is terrible, I'm so sorry, how this evidence proves this claim. So let's go back to my goofy example of The Office. Let's say my claim was, The Office is the best TV show of all time. I would give you evidence. I would say, um, The Office is one of the highest rated TV shows. Michael Scott is one of the funniest characters of all time. I would give you quotes about how Michael Scott talks all about in, you know, season four, episode two. Michael Scott says, I'm not superstitious, I am a little stitious. That is a very funny joke that is applicable to all people. Everyone think that's, think that's funny. Uh, then I would give another example. I would say in the episode where Michael leaves, he says kind and wonderful things to everyone, making the audience feel things they did not know they were capable of feeling in a comedy show. So I'm giving you a couple specific examples. In this episode, he says this. In episode, this episode, he does this. Okay, that would be my evidence. Reasoning is where you show me how that evidence proves the claim. It might look a lot like you're restating things you've already said. So I would say, since the office is funny and human beings like, th like things that are funny, and since The Office makes audiences feel things, it is clear that The Office is the best TV show of all time. You could say something even simpler, like, for all these reasons, The Office is the best TV show of all time. That's okay. It's not great. But you might just want to, like, restate, since The Office is both funny and emotional, because those are the evidence, like, right? I gave evidence that showed that The Office is funny. I gave evidence that showed that The Office isn't emotional. And so in my reasoning, I would say, since The Office is both funny and emotional, clearly... I'm going to restate my claim. The Office is the best TV show of all time. So you might feel a little bit repetitive, but it should be like a sandwich, right? You want to make a claim, you want to prove the claim, and you want to tell me how you just proved the claim. So use your words in there. Explain. Don't just throw random quotes in there. Use your re reasoning to explain those quotes. This quote shows that Oconquo does this. Therefore, it's clear that the lesson is this, etc. Hope that makes sense. Uh, like I said, you have until next week Thursday to do that. Uh, if you're a B-day person, Wednesday. If you are an A-day person, 
Um, let me know what questions you have. Email me if you need help finding specific quotes.